ship You make me lie Fields of green You lead me by The still waters You restore righteousness to me Though I walk Through the valley I will feel no evil For you are with me Guys, great job. Man, mm. what a great song, Chris. Just sings so easy. Mm. I'm such a sucker for scripture songs, man. Yeah. And like every word of this song is like straight scripture, yeah. which, uh, which I think is super cool. I wanna hear you talk about it. But you know, sometimes when you try to manipulate scripture into like a melody, it just sounds, sometimes it comes off like it's a little bit awkward or it doesn't meter right. And man, this song really just feels so natural when you sing it. And of course, just a timeless message. Talk about this song a little bit and uh, how it got started. Yes, yeah, so it's Psalm 23, which that's what I love. Everything you said is what I love. If, if David, um, who wrote most of the songs, if he had like a greatest hits, 
This would be probably number one. This is the number one hit, of, you know, to me. And I think to so many people, I, this psalm is something that I've gone to so much in life. I think so many people find so much strength and faith in this psalm. It's so incredibly written. It covers so much of all of life in just uh, just a few verses. And so this this song is literally all, those those words mm-hmm. put to music. And I've been looking for a way to sing this song for a long time that would really hit the church in a, in a powerful way that we, you could sing it Sunday after Sunday. And I feel like this is it. It started uh, us writing together. Um, this is with, with Ed and, and two other guys that people may know out there, uh, Bo and Bear Reinhardt from Need to Breathe. And this was a chorus that uh, Bo, Bo showed me, and he had the chorus. I remember he just played me the surely goodness, love, and mercy mm-hmm. thing. And I was like, I love, man, that is... I instantly recognized that's the end of the Psalm 23, and it just jumped. I was like, wow, it sings so well. Um, and I was thinking, what are we going to do with that? That is so powerful, so beautiful. And then a uh, genius over here to my right, he, uh, <laughs> the next morning, he's like, hey, I got this little uh, idea for, uh, for that, that chorus. And it was something that you had years ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was literally probably 11 or 12 years old. And... Uh, I remember I'd played it for you back when, and, it, you know, we're always looking at songs together, and sometimes some surface and find their way, and sometimes they just go back into hibernation, and I, I really feel like uh, this is just the time for this to, to come, you know, come up, and, and yeah, it was, uh, it was powerful. That mo- it was a morning. I remember it was like God's mercies are new every morning. Sometimes I feel like pretty often I'll just wake up with a song or a melody idea in my head, and I'll never forget that morning. Just I was meditating on that psalm, and it's just so powerful. You know, just those words are age old; they never get old to me. So yeah, yeah. it's a simple melody. Matt, you know, he had just how beautiful and um, the, the, the oh Lord, you're my shepherd, you make me. And I just I've always loved that. Mm. That um, and so that was back um, from probably over a decade ago. I was going to record that somehow, but I'm so glad I didn't, and it <laughs> saved it for this moment. That these two things came together. So it's for all the songwriters out there. These are two different worlds coming together. Mm-hmm. Something from a piece that we had years ago to this this little this chorus, and it just came together so beautifully. And I just I I love this song. Mm-hmm. It, it gives a lot. You know, Psalm 23 is a very deep, serious thing. And I, but it, I feel like this thing, the way this song has been written and recorded, it brings so much joy. Mm. It's such a it's so much joy to people when they sing it. Well, especially it goes to that bridge, man. It takes oh, on that little bit of a gospel oh, feel to it. I love it. And then like we're all in then. Yeah. It's, like it's, it's a sing along yeah, yeah, from that yeah. point on. Yeah, it's so fun. It feels so great. Yeah. Well, man, walk us through. Um, we're going. We'll actually teach the uh, like the verses in the chorus like super simple. It's and then super we'll, simple. We'll go to Mr. Gilder here for that. And the really bridge is not. Groovy, so uh, uh, we'll bridge. just we'll stay with super simple right here. And uh, it's in two keys, which is another thing. Like we're we're throwing it back, man. Who who goes to key <laughs> change anymore we did and it just feels right i don't know i I love it but uh it's f to g on the record um you can do obviously whatever key change works for you and in your congregation singing but so i I play f to g so um no one likes playing an f on the guitar that's like the worst key in the world to play um so i I cape up three and play in d and i go d to e just with the acoustic but so it's just simple the verses D, G, A. It's just just simple. Lord, you're my shepherd. You make me like fields of green. Just repeat that. And then, though I walk, B minor, through the valley, G, I will fear no evil thing. Walk down to the B minor again. For you are with me, G. A. Me. On the D. And so then the, then the uh, chorus. Surely goodness, love, and mercy. G and D. I mean, I, I, it doesn't get any more easy than that. Follow wherever. Some fun changes if you want to do this. Ever I go. Surely goodness, love, and mercy. So that's it goes to the minor there again. So it's just those four chords. It's D, G, A, and B minor. And then it um, 
But the chorus, if you want to play in the rhythm, kind of following, kind of follows the vocal, just. Yeah. It's really fun if you just by yourself. That's really nice, and it feels it's got a lot of rhythm into it, and, um, and so that's it. And then you go up to key, key change, go up to E, same same progression, it's just an E, yep. and and then you get to the bridge, yeah, and that's when it gets really fun. So and, Matt takes us to church, right and then there. Matt takes yeah. us to church, and it gets really fun. <laughs> Matt, walk us through, uh, maybe slow it down a little bit, and kind of walk sure. through so that the piano players out there can kind of get a, an idea for what you're doing. Yeah, it's so it's the gospely feeling thing. What we're wanting is that melody, that that's what, that's what you're hearing. It's sticking yeah. out. We're just putting chords under that. So what I do is right hand, I'm just going G. I move my, uh, my right hand up to an A minor 7, but I'm literally doing two notes. So it's like... sense straight from G A B C and then I'm following the melody da, da, da. that is a G over D da, 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 da. and then you'll step up like that sharp five and then the second half of the melody G da, 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 da. so that's E minor to A but still just super open simple chords Da, da, da. That's a G over D, right? Da, 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 da. That's the whole thing. So here's it in slow motion. Right? Yeah. That's the whole thing. When Chris starts singing, or when your worship leader starts singing, you'll go to uh, an actual E minor is the only change. It'll be right there. That's the only. And then you're back to the Just get it from multi And then act like yeah. you're playing it. Yeah, it works great. <laughs> Just say good luck. Happy Juggies on that part. Well, guys, thanks so much for sharing the song with us. Really exciting. Can't wait for the church to get a hold of this one. Absolutely. Thank you, man. Sing it with me once again.